Well, good day to you wherever you are. You join us on a day where the weather just may have an impact on a football match that has been uh, much anticipated. It's dry at the moment, but the forecast is that it will be wet, perhaps very wet by the time the game is uh, underway and certainly by the time of the second half. The crowd, though, are here and they are in good form. There's a right old cacophony going on. The atmosphere is terrific and kickoff is moments away one glance and you know where we are it is one of the most recognizable arenas for the beautiful game in the world and boy does it add to the occasion it is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1 well the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can can service the penalty box and make those link up runs from out to in he should get plenty of support with this setup so it's down to business here Razor Smith Razor Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And it's Smith. Smith. Great ball. Now the shot. Well, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. It's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that feature, is he? Fraser! Oh, what a goal! Oh, it really is a finish of the highest order. He's produced a beauty. Bournemouth have an early lead. Good start. Rain starting to fall here. It has been looking that way for a little while. Gets himself into trouble and he's lost it. Forward it goes. Smith. Bournemouth seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it aimed long and direct Ake gets it back King Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. That's gone a long way up and away. Bournemouth are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. out on the left now great leap he's done well to get his head on that but couldn't score and it's half time here 
So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but well, it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Bournemouth are in at half time with a slender one goal lead. And the action has already resumed here. Well, 1 0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Back into the middle. Danger averted for now. Tries to stroke it through. Fraser. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Aimed in towards the centre. beginning to look a little delicate I'd rather see them show the ambition and adventure to go further ahead but it seems as if they've settled for a, a riskier approach now to defenders massive leap could fall kindly a reprieve albeit perhaps momentary well it's good stuff this is better this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. And he's searching for... Has a hit! Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Gosling Klein and that's a throw in well, there's going to be a change now with the ball out of play well his stamina was called into question then but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in he was very willing though not quite able there's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed but will they? Five minutes remaining now. Bournemouth need to hold on for a few more moments. It's a loose ball. King. And that will be the final act. Bournemouth hold on. It's a narrow squeak. Bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Well, that was a hard-fought win with a defensive masterclass. They backed up their goal with a, a resilience that was first class. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage.